Welcome guys, Bobby G here. Well, I'm really excited. Today, I've got my first groupings of wild caught fish. So let's talk. All right, so uh, let's dive right in and see what's in the box. Pretty excited about these fish. Um, All right, uh, we've got three groupings of fish in here. Uh, let me just pull the bags out and uh, I'll let you know what they are. All right, so the first bag a breeding group of Placidochromus jailer reefs. Uh, let's see if I can get a bit of a close-up for you. Got one male and uh, four females. So I'm looking forward to getting these guys in the tank and, and settled in. Uh, and the second group of wild caught to butcher how this is pronounced, but anyway, uh, Copus turovasi lacoma. Uh, that's a cool fish. So we'll get these guys in the tank soon. And I've got a group of G1 uh, Copetochromus azurius Benji Island. Uh, they're just a, a, a grow out group. Uh, some of the males have already started uh, getting their color and uh, when these guys settle in and grow a bit they're going to be amazing. So uh, I'm going to take a few minutes now and, and get these guys in the tanks and uh, I'll show you what they're uh, like in the tanks. So I'm just going to give these guys uh, 10 minutes floating in the in the bags just to make sure the temperatures are the same and I will release them. All right, we're back uh, two weeks later. I've given these guys, uh, you know, a fair bit of time to settle in and uh, they're, they're looking really great. So let me show you uh, what they look like and I'll give you some of my, some of my ideas for the future for them, the near future. And uh, yeah, so, you know, if, if you've got anything uh, any comments, uh, you know, things you can teach me, uh, things that I should be doing differently possibly, please just let me do, know down in the comments. So let's have a look. Uh, we can focus in here on the uh, Placidochromus jailer reef, uh, the male that I picked up. He's, he's really a beauty. Um, you know, in the short time that I've had him, for him to color up this nicely, uh, is is uh, you know uh, very great for me to see that um, he's doing well uh, eating well and uh, yeah and so then we've got uh, also in this tank uh, he just actually came out is the uh, Copetochromus truvasi lacoma and uh, you know I have uh, high hopes for him also. Uh, the Jailer Reef is, you know, the dominant one, and I may be making some changes in in who's actually in this tank, because I want I want this guy uh, to do well also. I want him to be able to color up. Um, you know, I was worried about him in the beginning because his stomach was fairly uh, sunk in. And, uh, but he's eating really well and, and coming along nicely too. So you'll see I've got uh, a female uh, Travasi lacoma there. And there's a couple more. That's one there. And there's the other one. And then I've got uh, a, only two Jello Reef females. Uh, one's there. And the other one right there. Uh, I plan to get a couple more. Uh, females for sure. 
uh, of the Jello Reef and maybe one more uh, of the Trevasilacoma. Uh, I don't feel a lot of safety in having only uh, two females especially. Uh, I think it'd be safer having uh, three or four. Okay, let's get these guys, uh, give them a little bit of food, see how they respond to it. They're, they're lively. <laughs> they certainly know where their food comes from now. They're, they're just, they're hard to follow, they're so quick. Uh, here in the, uh, it's another 75 gallon tank. Uh, I've got these Copatochromus, Xeris, Mabenji Island, and uh, definitely uh, uh, female heavy, which, which I had asked uh, for. But there is one male, he's, he's hiding back behind the sponge filter right now. He's a little bit timid. Uh, hopefully he'll come out a bit here to, to show his true colors, but he's colored up really nicely. Uh, these are a G1 group, and uh, for those of you that don't, uh, you know, know what G1 is, it's first generation from wild caught. I've been moving around a bit, so they're pretty much all hiding. But I'll throw in a little bit of food. That'll get them. That'll get them out again. I think. They're, uh, they're lively eaters. I love watching these guys eat. They're very, they're very quick. They're, uh, you know, when they, when they a piece of food I, I just think they're lightning fast they don't waste their time getting to it I'm considering moving the uh, the Xeris from this tank uh, and put them up here with the Jalo reefs and moving the uh, Truravasi Lacomas down to a tank uh, down here uh, just to give to give this male a chance to uh, really flourish but uh, let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea and uh, I'll follow up with the video and, and let you know uh, what I've decided. Uh, so in closing here, uh, you know, I just want to do a, a shout out to uh, the importer that brought these in for me. Uh, I'd be shocked if anybody that's really involved in cichlids doesn't know his name, uh, Larry Johnson. and. Uh, he, uh, I feel very uh, fortunate that he lives close to me, and uh, and how uh, you know open and, and warm and receptive he is to somebody like myself that I feel is you know fairly green uh, at the at the hobby, and uh, he does have a website Malawi Cichlid Imports, so check his website out. I'll uh, leave a link to it below. If you've enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and feed your passion. Take the plunge.